Atamarie North Gators. I want to start by giving a big shout out to those in our church whānau who have been doing the hard mahi and texting and ringing and sending words of encouragement to others during the lockdown. Few people are amazing. This is what makes Northgate so special. Fiona and I have been greatly blessed by those who've reached out to us. You know, while the Prime Minister didn't give us the news we wanted to hear on Monday in extending the lockdown, it was the news most of us expected, although we've been told our lockdown level will be reviewed again by Cabinet on Friday. We anticipate that it may be some weeks before we can meet again in person. So please keep tuning in to our online service at 10 a.m. on Sunday. If any of you have any prayer requests or are in need of assistance, please don't hesitate to email or telephone Pastor Paul or myself. While I know most of you have been already connected contacted by people in our church Fano. On Tuesday evening, the elders will be meeting by Zoom to ensure we have a robust plan in place to ensure no one falls through the cracks. For those of you who find this lockdown harder than the last one, my heart really goes out to you. You know, I've been finding words of encouragement in Psalm 142. In this amazing Psalm, David pours out his troubles to the Lord while hiding in a cave from Saul, who wants to kill him. Like a raging torrent, he holds nothing back. He complains that people are setting traps for him. Despite all he's done for Israel, no one's taking notice of him. Effectively, he's a nobody. No one is looking out for him. There's no place for him to find safety or refuge. So he's hiding like an animal in a cave. Yet after lamenting about his situation, he sees through the fog of his despair and he sees that it has brought him to the point of being able to recognize that God in reality is his only refuge and treasure on this earth. And that one day, instead of being surrounded by enemies, he's going to be surrounded by the righteous. He finishes the psalm not by asking God to punish those who are trying to persecute him, but asking to be released from this prison so he can thank the Lord and praise his name. You know, may our prayer be that when God releases us from this lockdown, our first inclination won't be to get simply back to normal, but to take the time to praise and worship our treasure, the Lord God Almighty. Hey, may God bless you and keep you safe. Uh, looking forward to sharing with you again soon. God bless. Jonathan.